Welcome to another top 10 best plugins for your Minecraft server. Now I've made a video like this before, two times actually. If you want to check those top 10s out, there will be a link in the top right corner of the screen right now. Though in this video we're going over 10 more amazing plugins for your Minecraft server. Now every single plugin in this video will of course be unique. In other words, I've not covered any of these 10 plugins in any of my other top 10 best plugin videos. Though you might still recognize some plugins as for some of them I've actually made tutorials and showcases here on the channel. And then before we start I want to ask you to leave a like on this video, also check if you're subscribed to the channel. My analytics shows me that most people who watch my videos are actually not subscribed. Even though you're just a single click away, two clicks if you also want to enable notifications. And then without any further ado, let's dive right into this. So the first plugin on the list is Decent Holograms. Now Decent Holograms is a plugin that will allow you to create holograms like this. Now you might see this in many Minecraft servers. You can display information on them. You can label specific areas. You can pretty much do whatever you want with these holograms. Now I get a few here inside of Soracraft SMP, for example this one. Here we also got the shopping district labeled. Then over here you can see that this is actually the SMP bank. You name it, it's all really really cool. Now there are many holograms plugins out there but I found that this one is by far the easiest to use and will also get updated the quickest. So I would highly recommend it, link to all the plugins will of course be in the description of this video so you can all download them there and check them out for your own. Now the next plugin on the list is Graves. So Graves is one of the best plugins I've ever added to my SMP server. Basically what it does if you are in game mode survival and then I'm gonna jump and I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, that doesn't sound great. That should do it. Okay. Respawn. And now it will say you died in overworld at this location. A grave was created that lasts three hours. I'm dead. My items are not on the ground. They're actually inside of a chest. They're inside of a grave. And I can go back to that grave with this compass. So this compass will actually lead me to the place where my grave is. And besides that, I can of course also see the location here. Now there's no way to teleport to that location, so you will actually have to go there. Otherwise, it wouldn't be an SMP anymore. But this removes some of the unfairness about dying in Minecraft. Of course, dying isn't unfair. People die in Minecraft. But it gets really frustrating if you've been mining for a week and you got full netherite gear and then you die because of something stupid and you lose everything. That's a reason people People stop playing on your SMP and that's not what you want. So with the Grace plugin you can exactly see where your stuff is and how long it will last. So three hours, that's the time you got to get it back. So let's just go and teleport to that location. Ah, here we go. Look at that. Owner, Casasora's grave. This is the amount of levels I got. This is the amount of time the grave will still stay here. And this is my cause of death. In this case, I fell to my death, which is pretty sad. But now I can just right click on my grave and there we go. There are my items and the grave is gone. Perfect. Now you can completely customize the time the grave will stay there. You can also customize if only the owner can actually grab the stuff or if every single player on the server can grab stuff from the grave. So I can see that if you got like a full on PvP server, you want players to be able to rob each other's grave, for example. I don't know, just saying something. But Graves is a really cool plugin and if you're running any type of Minecraft survival server, I would recommend installing it. The next plugin is Better RTP. Now Better RTP is a very cool plugin that allows you to randomly teleport to somewhere inside of your world. So if you got a Minecraft SMP server, then of course you got a spawn point. Everybody spawns at the spawn. And if you walk outside of the spawn, then probably players have already built it completely full there. As is the first place outside of the spawn that you see. And for some reason, everybody thinks it's a great idea to build something there. Well, with better RTP, you can just type in a single command and then you will be teleported to a random place in the world. Now, I can just go and walk outside of this spawn and then start walking thousands of blocks. Or I can just do slash RTP, enter, and there we go. I've been randomly teleported to a place 
outside of the spawn. Now in the config file you can completely customize how far players can actually teleport, how many times do you want players to be able to use RTP, do you want RTP to check for world guard and grief prevention regions, which is something I would highly recommend. So for any Minecraft SMP server, but maybe for a creative plot server as well, beta RTP can be really really handy and would be highly recommended. Now the next plugin in this top 10 is a plugin called Parkour. And Parkour is a very awesome and very great plugin that will allow you to manage parkour maps on your Minecraft server. So currently we're inside of the Starcraft network lobby and we got multiple parkour maps here inside of the lobby. Now the plugin parkour actually allows us to play those parkour maps. So here we got two parkour maps, we got Space Run and Yin Yang. Now let's go and join Space Run. We've actually created a sign with the parkour plugin, now we can just right click on it and there we go. Now you can see I got some items inside of my inventory, so we got right click to go back to the last checkpoint point, right click to toggle visibility, right click to leave the course and right click to restart the course. And then we can just go and parkour, we can just go and have some fun. And now we jump to here and now there comes a jump where I'm very very bad at so I will probably fall, yes I will. And there we go, you died going back to the start. Now I'm gonna put myself to game mode creative for a bit, so we also got checkpoints. We can stand on it, there we go, checkpoint 1 out of 5. If I go back to survival and I die now, then I will actually respawn at that checkpoint. Very, very cool plugin. It is, I think, the best parkour managing plugin out there and I would highly recommend it. Now the next plugin is a very simple one, but a very cool one nonetheless. It is called Playtime and it allows you to see your playtime. So we can just simply type slash playtime and there we go. So this is the total time I've played here in the server. So two days, 11 hours, 38 minutes and 47 seconds. And one day is of course 24 hours, then plus 11, that's around 60 hours. That's, that's pretty good. Now you can also see the total times I've joined. And if you're an administrator, you can also see the playtime of other players. And that's all it does. It allows you to see your playtime. Though still, I think it's very cool to be able to see your playtime and let players be able to see their playtime. And that's why it's here inside of this top 10. So I would highly recommend it. Playtime is cool. Install it, uh, yes. The next plugin on the list is Tabex. And Skasasura, why are we in Hypixel? Well, the Hypixel server actually uses Tabex. Because Tabex is a plugin that will allow you to sell ranks on your Minecraft server. So in Hypixel's case, they are selling ranks. They are selling VIP ranks, VIP plus, MVP or MVP plus, and apparently even MVP plus plus, because that's really what we needed. But that's what Tabex does. It allows you to sell in-game stuff for real life money. So we can just type slash buy. You can find the store at store.hypixel.net. All right, let's go there. And here we are, this is the Hypixel store. Now, of course, your store will not immediately look like this. Absolutely not. The way the website looks is all custom made by Hypixel. Uh, let's type in my Minecraft name, Kasasura, continue. So I can buy gold here, I can buy bundles here, I can buy ranks here. Wow, there actually is an MVP++. Why? But loot boxes, mystery boxes, whatever it is, you can sell it with Tabex. Anyways, Tabex. Very awesome, very great. If you want to sell ranks on your Minecraft server, I would highly recommend checking Tabex out. The next plugin in this top 10 is Simple Score. A Simple Score basically allows you to make a completely custom scoreboard. So the scoreboard you see here on the right is a scoreboard I've actually created myself. I've created it during the Simple Score tutorial I've made here on the channel. So here on the scoreboard, we can see my username, we can see my ping, we can see the biome I'm currently in, we can see my current rank, which which is no rank because Luckworms is not on this server. But if Luckworms would be installed on this server, then it would showcase my rank over there. And then at the bottom, the online players. You can fully customize it. It's placeholder API compatible, so you can pretty much put anything you want inside of that scoreboard. It's very cool. You can make it so that every single world has a different scoreboard. You can even make it so that every single area inside of your world has a different scoreboard. It's very cool, very awesome, and very customizable. 
customizable. Like I said, I did make a tutorial about Simple Score and some other plugins I've already covered. So if you want to check those out, make sure to click in the top right corner of the screen right now. Next in line, we got Sleep Most. By far the best sleep managing plugin out there. Pretty much anything that you would want to do with sleeping in Minecraft, Sleep Most can do it. Sleep Most has tons of flags that you can fully customize yourself. So by typing SM, set flag, and then I'm just gonna type A. There we go, then it will give me an error. And in that error, it will tell me all the possible flags. In other words, these are all things that have to do with sleeping that you can fully customize. So skip night sound. Should there be a sound when you skip the night? Should sleeping be allowed anyway? Can you skip a storm by sleeping? Yes or no? By default it's yes. If you want to disable it, then you can. You can also make it so that if somebody is in game mode creative, they will not count for sleeping in the server. So they actually don't have to go to bed, which by default is not the case. And sleep most even adds an amazing animation. So let me do time set night. There we go. And then we grab a bed and we go lay in it. Then this is what you will see. What? That's freaking great. That's a very cool animation. So sleep most, I've also made a tutorial about it here on the channel. So if you would like to check that out, link in the top right corner of the screen. And the link to sleep most will of course be in the description of this video. Now the next plugin inside of this top 10 best plugins for your Minecraft server is Phoenix Crates. Now Phoenix Crates is the best loot crate plugin I've ever seen. It is very customizable, very cool. There's lots of stuff you can do with it. You can make as many crates as you want. Every crate has their own key. Phoenix Crates has some very awesome animations for actually opening the crates. Every single reward from a crate can have their own percentage. So some will be much more rare than others. It is until now the best crate plugin I've seen. Downside, it's not free. It is actually a paid plugin. So you have to purchase it from the Phoenix Crates website. Now while I know that there are many loot crate plugins out there, I found that Phoenix Crates is by far the most customizable, has the coolest animation, and it's just in general working the best. Now I'm not sponsored by Phoenix Crates in any way. Just let that be clear. But I have made a video about Phoenix Crates before that you can of course check out in the top right corner of the screen right now. And I've also worked together with the developer of Phoenix Crates for a promo code. So you can use code KASAI20 for a 20% off your purchase. So even though it is a paid plugin, you can pay a little less with that promo code. Now the very last plugin from this top 10 best plugins for your Minecraft server is Superior Skyblock. Basically anything you would want inside of a Skyblock experience Superior Skyblock delivers that. So we can easily just type slash island create. Then we give the name like hello. Now we can choose an island. So let's go for desert. And here we are inside of Skyblock. By default, we got some pretty cool islands here. Of course, you can add more islands yourself. And by doing slash is panel, you can see tons of other cool stuff that are included with this plugin. For example, there's a bank where you can deposit money to, you can upgrade your island, you can add players to your island as well, you can change the biome, you will have some missions to complete, it's overall a very complete experience. And if you plan on making a skyblock server yourself, I would highly recommend using superior skyblock too. And then guys, that's gonna be it. Those are the top 10 best plugins for your Minecraft server. If you enjoyed watching Watching this video make sure to leave a like and if you're new to the channel not subscribed yet and you did enjoy the content make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell you would really help me out by doing that you actually would the links to all of these plugins will of course be in the description of this video and all the plugins i've covered in this video that i also made a tutorial or a showcase about you can check those out in the top right corner of the screen and then that's gonna be it i really hope you have an amazing day and then I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.